play inside from Allen Henderson, Brian Evans, and Andre Patterson, but inconsistency at the guard position. Tonight, Indiana looks to even its record at two and two as they take on a young Notre Dame team from South Bend. Athletic and Convocation Center on the campus of Notre Dame University as Indiana 1 and 2 takes on the Notre Dame Fighting Irish 1 and 0. Oh. Hello everybody, John Laskowski and Ted Kitchell. Although it's a home game for Notre Dame, there are a lot of Indiana fans here at Sea Red as they greet the Hoosiers as they come out. Ted, this will be a game of three-pointers. Notre Dame likes to take the three-point shot, but Indiana doesn't. Yeah, Notre Dame's got a good shot. TTB4 and Raycom present Big Ten Conference Basketball. We are live from the RCA Dome in Indianapolis as the Bank One Classic this year presents the Evansville Purple Aces taking on the Indiana Hoosiers. Hello everybody, John Laskowski and Ted Kitchell to bring you the action. A very interesting game. Jim Cruz, a former player and assistant coach at Indiana, now the head coach for Evansville, and he's got Andy Elkins on his team. He's their leader. Andy Elkins is an outstanding player, a guy that can shoot from the outside. Last year he took 192 three-pointers, so a guy that looks to take it if, if available, a guy that will also get down inside, try to draw some fouls. Evansville's definite go-to guy. Over 9,000 tickets have been sold by the Evansville fans, and they're here to greet their team on. For Indiana, they've always been searching for guards they may have found one in Neil Reed. He's starting tonight, as well as Charlie Miller, his first start for the Hoosiers. Neil Reed had an outstanding game at Notre Dame, really stepped up, took some big shots, and did, did something that Indiana was really looking for in, in finding some guard play that could, could hit an outside shot. Charlie Miller came off the bench, did not have a big game, just needs to calm down, relax, take what the defense gives him. Charlie Reed, a tremendous athlete, just has to take what the, off, or the defense is going to give him. A little bigger roar as Indiana comes on the floor. Time now for our Cochaline Fueling Factors. For Evansville, the atmosphere, they're not used to the, uh, the 30,000 people. I'm sure Coach Cruz wants them to come out, take their time, and slowly get into the game. they got senior leadership in Elkins and Reed, two guys that have played for four, going on four years. They've got good leadership, something Indiana continues to look for. Free throw shooting for Indiana. Indiana, the other night at Notre Dame, Got to the line 40 times, only hit 24. Indiana continues to get to the line, gonna have to do a better job of making the free throws. And defense, Indiana at this point in time, given 80 points a game up, the most points ever by a Bob Knight team. Stop by Cochaline for this month's special, your choice of car care in tonight's game after these messages. Evansville is 1-0. Indiana comes into the game 1-3. The two coaches met before the game. Jim Cruz on the right, of course, Bob Knight. It'll be very interesting to see the strategy they both use in this afternoon's game. Let's take a look now at the Papa John's starting lineups. Take a look at the starting lineups for Indiana. The only newcomer, Charlie Miller, as we mentioned in the, in the stand-up, he's going to be the... Uh, the new guy, I, I, Elkins and Henderson is probably the, the real matchup here. And, it, and I would really think you'll see Elkins, Henderson, Evans, and Jackson, a lot of switching going on there. So you'll see Evans and Henderson probably switching back and forth. But Indiana must stop Elkins and Jackson if they're going to win this game. Tonight, will the team deliver? Will the coach deliver? Will the referees deliver? Who knows? But Papa John's Pizza will deliver. One thing for sure is if you want the perfect pizza, the perfect. And we're ready to have the tip off. Right now, there's Neil Reed. He's the freshman, 6'3", out of Louisiana. He'll be starting for Indiana. Charlie Miller also gets the nod. Right now, the game ball being presented by former Evansville High School star Don Mattingly, now with the New York Yankees. He's had a little longer offseason than he hoped. There he throws the ball out to Tom Rucker. So a lot of Indiana flavor in this afternoon's ball game. But it's all going to end here when that ball goes up as tapped as these two teams will fight. The only previous meeting 
between Evansville and Indiana way back in 35-36. Indiana won that game by seven. Tommy Rucker was over here at the booth. He's telling Don Manley, give him a little batting lesson. Yeah, huh, he, kid? He, well, he said when Manley got ready to throw it, he said he, he stood oh, up I there see. like he was ready to hit it. But it uh, <laughs> look, looked like uh, not only the baseball players have went on strike, but some of the barbers have maybe went on strike out there in Evansville, too. <laughs> There's Charlie Miller, freshman out of Miami. So Indiana with two freshman guards, they're going to have a test today. Our officials all from the Big Ten, Sam Licklider, Burl Sell, and Tommy Rucker, a very good veteran crew. And we're ready for basketball. Jeff Hayden out of Lawrence North High School here in Indianapolis will tip for Evansville, and Evansville will get it. Jackson is 42. This is Elkins, 31. Their big score, Patterson, draws the assignment. Reed Jackson, their leader, and a senior, guarded by Evans. You can see both teams really intense out there. Trapped now by Indiana. Stolen. Reed has it. Out to Evans. Jackson oh, recovers. Good move. Spin move. And a travel on Evans. Good defensive pressure by Indiana. I know Coach Knight really looking to put a lot of pressure on this Evansville team. Indiana's first time down doing exactly what Coach Knight had set up. Reed Jackson is 45 and Andy Elkins 31. There's the leaders. This is Layden high outside, 6'9". He's the center. One real positive to Indiana's inside defense is with, with Patterson, Henderson, and Evans all being about the same size. As you can see, he gets around Charlie Miller. Good help by Allen Henderson and Patterson. Inside, is they can switch at any time, and that really makes it a lot easier to play defense inside. It's Toby Madison for Evansville, missing the jumper. Indiana has the board, still no score. First minute of action. Indiana taking their time defensively or offensively. Not a very good shot by Patterson. It looked like Evansville got a piece of that. That's not what Coach Knight's looking for offensively. They, they were very patient, moved around, needed three or four more passes, and they'd probably come up with a better shot than that. There you see Coach Knight, good shots. That's what he wants. Evansville has just finished three straight 20-win seasons. If they would do that again this year, be the first Evansville time team that's ever done that four 20-win seasons in a row. Whistle down a foul. That's by Indiana. Let's watch Patterson. Elkins trying to use some quickness to get around him, and there's the bump. Patterson got to move his feet defensively. Had good, good pressure. You can see they're putting a lot of pressure way out on the floor. People inside going to have to be ready to help out when people get around them outside. Jackson posts inside. He can't get the shot. This is 42. Brian Jackson outside for three. It's off, and Indiana has the ball. Neil Reed and Charlie Miller need to get the ball inside to Allen Henderson and Brian Evans. They go to Henderson, and he passes out. Miller, one dribble, and shot is off. So both teams having trouble from the field. As Jackson brings it down all the way before he stopped. Outside, Elkins loves the three, and that's why. Indiana doing exactly what Evansville wants him to right now. Charlie Miller taking the, taking the shot, Patterson taking the shot. They don't want Evans and Henderson taking shots, and uh, Indiana not doing a very good job offensively, getting the ball where it needs to be. Neil Reed on a runner, it's off. So Indiana not getting very good shots early. Two on one break. Layden and Jackson. Jackson goes all the way in a foul. Allen Henderson held his position. Not a very good play by, by Evansville. He, he, could have pulled, he could have pulled up here. Jackson takes it all the way. And right here, if he just stops, he, he's got a little 10 foot bank shot. Instead, he's going to take it in on Allen Henderson. Allen Henderson got back very well. He, nice positioning, takes the charge. Three nothing, Evansville leads. Two and a half minutes in. Reed and Miller, low catch. Henderson pulls, he gets the double team. A fall away shot goes, so Allen Henderson puts Indiana on the board. Got to go down there, even a double team. Allen Henderson uh, able to knock it in. And, and if you're used to watching Indiana double team a lot of good players, watch for Evansville to do the same type of thing. Good drive by Jackson down the lane, foul on Evans. So good quick just there, Jackson was out above the three point lane. Was able to drive the lane and draw the foul. You're going to put that much pressure outside. Your inside people have to be ready to help because he put a lot of pressure, gets the step on him. Nobody comes over to help. Good, good job by Jackson of using his body, getting into Evans. He gets a chance to take the line in two shots. First foul on Evans. Jackson goes the line. And substitution already. Chris Quinn, 6'5 sophomore is in and Madison leaves. There's Jim Cruz, the Indiana bench. It's a good look at Jackson. Back to my point as far as the Evansville defense, the same type of 
things that Indiana does uh, when they double back and to get two guys on the post. Whenever Henderson gets the ball or Evans gets the ball down inside, you're going to see him double teamed all day because the, uh, the same principles apply for Evansville. Jackson hits both. Evansville leads it 5-2. to two. Marlon Miller comes back to get the inbounds pass. Running a high offense now. Miller's open for three. Gets off, laying with the board. I think that's a good shot, though. They're really laying off of Reed, and they're laying off of Charlie Miller, basically saying, we want to see if you can make some shots. Travel on out that comes off that, that screen. A little too quick, still pumped up. As he mentioned in the pregame, uh, this is uh, the biggest game that he's ever played in, and he's really looking forward to playing against Bob Knight in Indiana. But uh, Indiana going to have to hit some outside shots. If not, Evansville will continue to pack it inside. Three turnovers now for Evansville. You see, they aren't even guarding Charlie Miller. He's got to step into the free throw line. He's got to move into the free throw line rather than being out behind the three-point line. Evans will take it. He draws the foul, and that one was from beyond the three-point line, so it'll be three free throws. Indiana continues to try to get the ball in Henderson and Evans' hands. But you can see Evansville really going to pack it back in. Evans comes off the he's yeah, behind the line. Evansville player just gets a little bit off balance, falls into Evans. And because of it, he'll, get, he'll take three free throws. And they start off right where they left off at Notre Dame. Shoot 24 of 40 at Notre Dame from the free throw line. Indiana, a team that not a great three point shooting team, so they really need to make it up from the free throw line. When you shoot 24 of 40, that's not doing, doing yourselves a very good job. There's another $25 to the Gleaners Food Bank from Noble Roman's Pizza. With this reminder, Noble Roman's breadsticks are made from scratch daily. So don't forget to order some the next time you have a pizza delivered. Noble Roman's, the better pizza people. Evans makes two out of three. It's 5-4 Evansville. Jackson and Reed matched up outside. Neil Reed doing a nice job putting pressure on the ball, yet containing his man and not letting him get around and, and causing problems for the defense inside. Ryan Jackson, Elkins, makes the move, and a tough shot is off. The rebound comes out long. Reed brings it down. Got to get it into Patterson right there. He's got it, he's got it. You can see him really coming over. Charlie Miller, they continue to lay off him. He's got to get himself in position, Reed. And he takes off right where he left off in Notre Dame. Had a fantastic game, had 18 points and hit a lot of big shots for Indiana and South Bend. Indiana's first lead, 7-5, so Neil Reed really coming into his own here early in his freshman year. Reed Jackson, good defense by Evans. This is Brian Jackson, is also Evansville not afraid to take that three, and that's the shot that's hurt Indiana here early in the season. Charlie Miller has a three and passes up on it. Charlie Miller has got to take that one dribble, make his player play him as Reed makes a one-on-one -on -one move. Not really what Coach Knight's looking for. He wants to take the dribble and get inside. Then you have to look. When your defense comes to you, you've got to look down inside to the post to feed the post. And there's a post feed inside. Reverse layup by Elkins. Foul on Henderson. Poor communication by Indiana inside. Good job by Evansville. Good, good screen to set it up. You can see Elkins is going to come off. Well, we don't get a chance to see him, but he comes off a nice screen. Henderson gets caught up. Poor communication by Indiana. Good job of using the basket and getting, getting inside. Good, good offensive sequence by Evansville. Derek Loving, 22, is in for Evansville. Toby Madison back in, number three. Evansville goes about eight deep. See, Elkin has had a big game. Western Michigan has been Evansville's only game. They won that ball game, 63-51. So you can see they play defense. And so far they have the night's game. Seven to five, Indiana leads it. It takes a, a little time getting used to the, the surroundings. You, you're not used to playing in a dome. There's no walls, no ceilings around. And sometimes shooting is what it affects most. Timeout, 15-16 left. The score is Indiana 7, Evansville 6, and we'll be back after these messages. Screen here on the last play by Evansville. Not a big screen, but watch how Neil Reed doesn't help out. He stands, he's interested in his man. He's got to back off a couple steps. He's got to help Allen Henderson until Allen is able to get down to the position. Instead, no help, get to go to the line, shoot two. Both teams struggle from the 
field. Pat Knight now in for Charlie Miller. Takes a shot right away. It's off. Rebound to Evansville. Foul on Patterson going for the board. Look for uh, Evansville to lay off Pat Knight the same way they were doing with Charlie Miller. These, these players have not proven uh, in previous games that they can step up and hit the shot. And until you do, Coach Cruz is going to continue to lay off down on Henderson and Evans where the people they know that can score for Indiana. We can look at the IU bench. Michael Herman is not with the team today. And that's the only report we have from Sports Information Director Greg Elkin that Michael is not with the team today. Ball is tipped out of bounds. Losing control was Jackson. So four turnovers now for the Aces have, has given Indiana a chance to hold this lead because Indiana has not had a good start there in this first five minutes. What's the Evansville defense? You can see how crowded it's going to be around the free throw line and down the inside. And it's all because the guards are going to pack it down in just like, just like Indiana's defense does. When, when, when they play against good, strong people inside. This is kind of a way, uh, Ted, to play a zone and still be in man-to-man. -man. Well, you're definitely going to be in man-to-man -man against Evans and Henderson, uh, even Patterson inside. But outside, you're just really playing kind of a soft, real soft man-to-man. -man. And until somebody proves they can shoot the shot, they are playing a little bit more up on Neil Reed because he's proven to them that he can shoot the shot. But everybody else, they're really laying off of. Good pass. Pat Knight dishes to Henderson. Now that time, rather than taking the shot, Pat went inside, drew the defense to him, and then dropped it off. Great job by Pat Knight of getting the ball inside and getting it where it needs to be. Patterson now matched up with Elkins in the corner. And a travel, that's Loving. Derek Loving gets trapped in the baseline. Five turnovers. Jim Cruz won't be happy with that early stat. But his team's still in the game, 9-6. One thing Coach Cruz very concerned about was coming into an atmosphere like this and uh, turning the ball over and not getting off to a good start. Once again, good pass by Pat inside. That's a play Henderson has got to finish. Andy Elkins brings it down two on two. He goes to the hoop. And a nice shot. Well in control that time to get a good shot. Great play by Elkins. He knows what he can do. Did a nice job getting down inside, used his body inside. Good play. He's got six of the eight Evansville points. That's why he's their leader. Pat Knight, free throw line. Nothing but net there, so left wide open, he bangs that shot. And if he does that that time, and if he does it probably one more time, then that really creates problems for Evansville. Now, all of a sudden, everything you've worked on all week, uh, you're going to have to change around. Elkins dishes off, and Indiana double teams on Layton. Possession arrow to the Hoosiers. Just like a turnover. Once again, uh, three of the last four times Evansville's been down the floor. They've traveled twice, and they've turned it over right there. Three, three out of four turnovers. Something the Coach Cruz not going to be happy with. Scott Sparks, a seven-foot junior out of Vincennes Lincoln. He's the son of Dan Sparks, the coach at Vincennes Junior College. He enters the ball game. So Evansville goes with some height right now. That night out front, that's the open area. That Evansville gives him. Jackson switches off. Pass to Patterson. Stolen. Elkins. Shot fake. Oh, that would have been quite a play as he was leaning down to the right. Still got the shot away. Really a great play by Elkins. You can tell he's really a heady, smart player. He is not at all trying to make this shot. He is just trying to... You can see, not a very good player by Patterson. That's a ball he's got to get at. But watch Elkins. He has no intent of trying to make this shot. Look at him lean over towards Reed. Reed did not have a hold of him. He's just leaning into him. Great heady play by Elkins to get draw the foul on Neil Reed. And the defense is off its feet, and a contact is made. That foul is going to go against the defense, as it did there. Elkins hits the first, now with seven points. You can see he's very intense. He's very much into the game. Right now, Patterson, uh, two or three times down the floor, has gotten the ball thrown to him inside. And uh, he didn't have a very good game at Notre Dame, and he's not started out tonight very well either. Indiana by one. Reed gets good pressure. Henderson has it. Evans outside. It's off. Henderson with a good pass. And a whistle inside, foul on Evansville. So Indiana's getting the ball inside where they want it. Doing a better job. That, that, that ball comes off the rim, and Allen Henderson once again always around the ball, rebounding. He has three guys around. He was able to pass it to uh, Patterson, and uh, Patterson grabbed on the arm and go to, go to the line, shoot two. 6'8", 220 out of Abilene, Texas. Only four points against Notre Dame. 
But of those six rebounds, five were offensive, so he loves to roam in there. Twelve and a half points a game for Patterson. There's another $25 into the Gleaners Food Bank from Noble Romans Pizza. With this reminder, bring a can of food for Gleaners to a Noble Romans Pizza anytime tomorrow and get a large hand-tossed pizza with one topping for just $5 tomorrow at Noble Romans. Patterson hits two free throws, Indiana by three. Low scoring game, 12-34 left. Spread offense now by Evansville as they try to create a post-up situation inside. Indiana do, continues to do a lot of switching inside. Takes a lot of good communication, travel. No shot as Toby Madison gets called with the travel. Jim Cruz doesn't agree. And there's the showing Tom Rucker. Todd Lindemann checks in as Patterson comes out. Leaves with two points. Sparks not a real big strong guy, the big big guy for Evansville. I would look for Indiana to try to use Lindemann and his strength a little bit inside. Henderson gets it on the baseline, fall away, jumper is good. So as soon as Lindemann comes into the game, they can use his strength as far as getting people open. That's six now for Henderson. And again, Elkins that shot fake, drive to the basket, draws another foul. There's a nice job. Smart player. You take a look at Indiana's last bucket. You can see Lindemann gets the gets the screen right there. Henderson falling away a little bit, but a nice job. Nice shot right there. Good screen inside by Todd Lindemann. Now the next time they try that, watch for Henderson to shot fake and go around. Once you hit a couple shots outside, it makes the, your entire offensive game much more effective. Elkins will get the line with two. That last foul on Evans, that's his second. Henderson and Evans uh, just cannot get, get in foul trouble for this Indiana team. As we saw the other night, once Henderson got in foul, got in foul problems, it really puts a lot of pressure both defensively and offensively on, on the team. Right now, Evans still in the game as Elkins hits both. And we've got timeout. We'll be back after these messages from your local stations. This is the Raycom Sports Network. Indiana leads it by three, and Andy Elkins leads the way for Evansville with ten. One man wrecking crew so far. Pat Knight outside That's with a short. jumper. Great heads up play by Evans inside. That, that was not a pass. Evans was there and t gets the rebound basket. Indiana now by five. Evans has to be careful. He's picked up two early fouls, but he's still in the lineup. See, right there was a switch. Henderson and Evans switched off of uh, Jackson and Elkins inside. Pass deflected by Lindemann. So Evansville not afraid to bring Sparks out high, but that brings Lindemann with him. Exactly. I think that's exactly what they want to do is bring Sparks out high. That way they can try to, try to post up Jackson and Elkins inside. Neil Reed's played the whole way. There you see the three-point shooting, so neither team taking advantage there. And travel again, this time by Reed Jackson. Eight turnovers by Evansville. So Indiana now, five-point lead. They're not moving their feet much, but they're just picking that foot up before they get the ball on the floor. And the Big Ten officials have really been banged on for a couple years, and uh, they're really watching. Great play by Jackson. And now the lead pass to Loving. Reverse layup is good, so the defense there leads the offense. See, good job by Loving of getting his feet underneath him before, he's, before he tries to just lay it up. He does a nice job of making the catch, getting his feet underneath him, and then going up with the strong two points. Lindemann, Henderson, and Evans work inside, trying to get each other open. There's just not going to be a lot of shots inside. You Henderson. Say, that's that's yeah. just an individual move right there. And it's a great one. Two Evansville players on him, and from the other baseline he hits. At the other end, Scott Sparks beats all the Hoosiers down the floor, gets the easy layup. Henderson, Three. quick shot is off. And a whistle Lindemann. from outside. That is Lindemann. Merle Sell, the outside official with that call. Indiana last time doing a poor job getting back defensively. Henderson hits a big shot on the other end, a good one-on-one -on -one move. And then has to come all the way back down the floor and they give up, uh, just give up an easy layup. Indiana's guard's gonna have to do a better job of getting back 
covering up. Brian, Brian Jackson me. back in the lineup for Evansville. I think Coach Cruz has to be very happy with the defense Evansville's playing right now. Uh, the only points that Indiana is basically scoring is off rebounds or off one-on-one -on -one moves. Allen Henderson's made a couple of one-on-one -on -one moves that have gotten him baskets, but uh, they're not getting a lot of open shots down here on the Indiana end. Sparks hits that first free throw. Nice touch for big man. Mm -hmm. Both. And now he'll be substituted for. Jeff Layden comes back in. What a good job by Sparks. And that's the Evansville crowd as you can hear him. Just one point down now as we approach halfway through this first half of action. Pat Knight drives in. No foul and rebound to Evansville. Jackson has it. And Indiana gets back in time to set up. You look over there at the bench and you wonder who they could put in at that position that could hit that jump shot. And uh, right now there's not a lot of people over there that have proven that they can hit that jump shot. That creates a lot of problems for Indiana offensively. Good trap now, Evans and Reed. Leaves Madison open, he's off, and Henderson pulls it down. Good block out by, by Allen Henderson. He found the man before he went after the ball, and because of it, he comes up with a good rebound for Indiana. Baseline, Pat Knight. Keeps control. Henderson tries to post up now, immediately a double team. Good job by Evansville. Pat Knight, as Henderson finds the open man, and Knight takes it all the way in. Great play by, made by Allen Henderson. He's very fortunate they didn't call a foul as he tried to clear himself out there. Here's a double team. This is exactly what Evansville's wanting to do. They want to get it down there. Yeah, they're going to pound on you a little bit, but that's just the way it goes. Patrick, this is one you'd like to see him get to the basket, get a three-point play, but he is going to have a chance to shoot two free throws. Three of four this year. Good look at Henderson there. Celebrated his 22nd birthday yesterday. Pat Knight's at the line now, three of four for early in the season. And good with that one. The team came in last night here at the Dome about 6.30. Practice about an hour and then came back this morning to work on some free throw shooting. And it looks so far it's helped as Pat hits that first one right in front of the Evansville student section. Good on the second. As Layden and Lindemann both go down, the officials stop play to wipe up any wet area. Yeah, I think more than anything, uh, wasn't anybody knocking anybody down. I think he just slipped a little bit there on a wet spot. Ron Felling, Bob Knight on the Indiana bench. Here we go. Here's Madison. He was a leading scorer in the state of Indiana his senior year in high school. 29-9 a game. There he is, number three. So he can shoot it very well from the outside. This is Elkins' three-pointer. Good as Lindemann tried to put some pressure on, but Elkins able to get the shot away. Do a nice job. They're very patient, continuing to work the ball around, and they tied this game up. 13 points for Elkins. Neil Reed way outside, and he gets a three to match it. Neil Reed really coming on strong. He's a tough competitor. He likes to have that ball in big situations. And uh, from what I've seen the last couple games, I kind of like to have it in his hands, too. Indiana again by three. Drive all the way by Layton. Shot is off. Rebound. Jackson and Reed again go after it, and Indiana has it. Neil Reed makes a great individual play right here. I'm not so sure that he wasn't the guy that knocked it out, but uh, Burl Sell said that Evansville touched it last. Coach Cruz, I don't think, agrees. Good drive by Layden down the lane. Reed comes in. I watch him dive at it right here. The only way that it, it would have hit an Evansville player last is if it happened to have went off his foot. And in that replay, I really can't tell. And Jim Cruz is off the bench trying to get that call back. It won't happen. Here's Henderson, spin move. Off, but a foul as he's hit on the arm by Layden. Talked about the bombs in the pregame. We just saw a couple. 
And that's been a problem for Indiana. You can they see, haven't gotten very many three-point shots. Yeah, not only getting outscored, you can see the other teams have taken, what, 29 more shots from the three-point line than Indiana. So uh, Indiana needs to get to the free throw line. That's where they need to make up that difference. Well, you know, Indiana's not going to make it up by shooting more three-point shots. They're going to make it up by getting to the line and hitting them much more, many more free throws than their opponent, even out the, the field goals made, and then to compensate for a lack of three-point shooting, make it up at the free throw line. And I think, that, you know, defensively, they're just going to have to do a better job and not give up so many three-point shots. There's another $25 to the Glinger's Food Bank from Noble Roman's Pizza. And don't forget Noble Roman's delivery guarantee. Within 25 minutes after placing your delivery order, Noble Roman's will call to let you know your pizza is on its way or it's free. Henderson makes one of two. He now has eight. Long pass. Goes out of bounds. Indiana has possession. Momentum moving in Indiana's direction a little bit. Coach Cruz very, very upset, continuing to harp on the call about uh, down there in front of the Indiana bench where the ball was was given to uh, Indiana. Not very, very happy about that. Indiana has scored four points since that time. At night, jumper outside is off. And Jackson has it. You just have to continue to step up. You Going to call it on Sparks. Reed Jackson misses on the shot. And Scott Sparks back in the lineup, draws the foul. Last time Pat comes down, that's the shot he's got to take. It's not going to do any good to dribble in closer. He's a good enough shooter. He's just got to, to gain the confidence. And, and if they're going to leave you open, you got to burn them with it. And uh, right now, they continue to give him a 15-foot shot. And Coach Knight basically stood up to Pat and said, you just got to hit it. Lindemann, 61%. He's 8 of 13 from the line. And he gets the roll there with the one and one. 26-21, Indiana by five. There's the Evansville bench. Lindemann Long there. Brian Jackson boards. Sparks high outside. They look for Elkins to post inside on Henderson. Steal though by Evans. Two on one. He gives it up and Henderson finishes it. Great play by Brian Evans. Al Alan Henderson is the one who, who, who gets the two points. But Brian Evans makes a great defensive play and then really set, set Henderson up for the easy dunk. 11 points now for Henderson, and he is very enthusiastically in the ball game. Shot is missed. Pat Knight has it. Indiana runs. If Indiana scores here. I'd look for Evansville to get a timeout. Pat Knight gets rid of it. And now back. Here's Evans. Turns. It's off, and Madison runs it down. I think Coach Cruz wanted him to slow down a little bit, set things up, try to work the ball around, get inside, maybe get to the free throw line. Here's Elkins, nearly stepped out of bounds as he moved that back foot. Jackson. Good pressure by Lindemann. And Henderson boards. Evansville having trouble from the field. And Indiana doing a good job on the board. Indiana not getting a lot of sharp movement. It's tough inside when you got a guy that just lays back in the middle and really shuts everything off. Bad pass by Pat Knight. Steal by Jackson. Floats in the lane and misses. And Evansville retains possession. Timeout now, 6-17 left. Indiana leads it 28-21. We'll be back after these messages. come over, great anticipation, and then he sees he has Allen Henderson. He's not going to give it up until the last second. All Allen has to do is catch and dunk. Allen, very fortunate, after he makes this, he's pumped up and he runs over a guy right here. That is a charge right there. He was very fortunate. I looked up real quick. None of the officials happened to be looking at that play. If, if they had been, he would have definitely gotten called for a charge. There's the shooting, both teams below where they want to be, but Toby Madison hits a three-pointer from the outside and cuts the lead to four. And it's a big three. When you come in, come, come back off of a, an out-of-bounds play, I'm sure Coach Cruz had something set up. They ran it perfectly, and he got a good three-point shot out of it. Steal now by Madison. Pat Knight got caught with four no on, dribble. Four on two. 
And shot is off and hung on the rim, and Lindemann pulls it down. Loving with the reverse layup, it just falls off the rim. Evansville very aware of Neil Reed's able to hit that shot. They really stay up on a great pass by Patrick. Good, good finish by Neil Reed. He gets hit, and yet he has, a, has enough about himself to get the ball up under the basket and get it in. Great chance for a three-point play by Neil Reed. You know, one of the things, Ted, about dropping back off of Patrick, it, does, it may give the shot up, but it gives him more room to drive. Notice how much time he's got a couple dribbles, and now something's created inside, and he gets the pass in. And the thing that uh, Indiana can't do is they can't back off and watch Patrick, because Indiana continues to, uh, needs to continue to move. That time, Indiana continued to move, and you got a chance, you, you saw Neil Reed makes the catch, and he's not a real quick guy, he's not a big jumper, but he got that ball, he released it very quick, and gets a chance at a three-point play, and he's only gonna get two. Gives him eight now for the afternoon. So another good half by Neil Reed. Indiana by six. Elkins looks like he lost control, and Indiana steals it. Steve Hart down the lineup. 11 turnovers have hurt Evansville first half. You can see they put Steve Hart in there where Pat Knight was, and they're going to continue to back off him. So we'll get a chance to see if he can step up and hit that first jump shot. They're going to come over and help on Henderson. Good job by Evansville. Nice, nice play by, by Reed to throw it over the top. And Hart gets a pick from Lindemann and hits the jumper. Reed recognized what's there. There's nothing down in the post. No need to throw it down in there. There's got to be an opening someplace, and he threw it across the top. Shot fake by Layden. Oh, that's Scott Sparks, 50, and he drew the foul. Steve Hart is in the perfect position on this play. The only problem is he, did, he just, I mean, he swings hard enough to knock it into about the, the 20th row. And all, all you're trying to do is, uh, you know, knock the shot away and maybe even pick it up and take it down to the other end. He swings hard. When you swing that hard, you're definitely going to get a foul. Good call by the official. Or the ball's going to go out of bounds anyway, and you're yeah, there's no good get possession. And the greatest shot blocker ever was was uh, Bill Russell, and he wasn't a great shot blocker because he knocked him into the third or fourth throw. He was great because he would just touch it just enough so here one of his players could pick it up and they could go to the other end, and it, it, it turns into a turnover. Sparks hits the free throws. Indiana now by six. Motion offense inside. Henderson and Lindemann trying to get open. Reed does inside. And a follow away jumper on the baseline. Very active offensively. Continues to move around in the offense and just takes what they're giving him. And uh, a very, very good, good shot right there. Nice job of getting up in the air, getting squared to the basket. Ten first half points inside. This is Jackson. Pushes back. Elkins loses it. And travel inside as Jackson got covered up by the Indiana defense. Early in the game, Evansville did a nice job of getting it in and then getting it back out. Right now, they're getting it caught inside. There's not really anybody standing outside. They're going to have to spread the offense, spread it out, and slow down offensively. Whistle outside. Jackson. They're going to get Jackson. Earl Sell with that whistle. That's just a very, that, that, that's a frustration foul right there. They're frustrated. They've not been able to do anything about the last two or three minutes. And Coach Cruz is telling him, he says, you know, what, what, what are you doing? I mean, if, if you just come down and you just shove somebody, and shove him two or three times, they're going to call you for a foul. It's going to put Brian Evans at the line. Four points. So again, Evans has hung on to those two fouls and has not drawn that third. But again, offensively, Indiana has not gotten a lot out of him here first half. Teams have done a nice job of taking Evans out of the offense. Uh, Notre Dame did a good job of it. Billy Taylor up at Notre Dame did a great job of it the other evening. And uh, so far, he's not been a big factor against Evansville here today. And timeout. We'll be back after these messages from your local stations. This is the Raycom Network. It's been a scrappy game, and I think both coaches, Ted, have felt that the team could have played better. A lot of turnovers by Evansville. But right now, Indiana holding on to that lead. Allen Henderson doing a nice job. Big scoring run here by Indiana. 
has taken it from a one-point game up to ten. Indiana's taken Elkins a little bit out of the Evansville offense. He had ten points early when they were tied in the game, and now he's only scored three since they've moved out to the big ten-point lead. Evansville a little more patient this time down the floor. I'm sure that was instructed to him at the, at the timeout that they are not going to beat this Indiana team running up and down the floor. So they try to work Elkins inside. This is Chris Quinn. Jackson with a three is off. Henderson with an easy board. Indiana doing a nice job of sustaining their defense, not only playing good defense to start the sequence, but continuing on and uh, making it very tough for Evansville to score. Reed able to dribble and will out there. Good shot, though, for Indiana. He misses the shot, but it was about a 10-footer. Reed Jackson always looking for Elkins. Good pass. Elkins, Elkins with a great pass into Chris Quinn. Easy layup. Chris yeah. Quinn, the 6'5 sophomore out of South Bend St. Joe. Two games in a row now, Ted. We've had a St. Joe Indian as an opponent. St. Joe Indian. Only a guy from South Bend. Is there. <laughs> uh, Steve Hart's in the lineup for Indiana. Anderson changes the shot. Good pass. Lindemann stolen by Jackson. He stepped on the line, so Indiana gets the turnover. Pretty quick hands there. Good pass by Evans in that it's a tough passing angle, and he puts it in the only place the defense can't get it. Lindemann can come up with it. Lindemann going to have to be stronger with his hands. Coach Knight disappointed uh, about the last sequence down when Indiana gives up an easy layup. Robbie Eggers checks in for Lindemann. First action we've seen with Eggers in a while. Looks and gets it into Eggers. Here's the guy you want to handle, Reed. The drop back of Hart, and he takes the shot. He's got to. He's got to come in and got to take that shot. Double team on the baseline. Anderson gets rid of it. Stolen now as Elkins comes up with it. Bad play by Indiana. There's just no way on a play like that. No, no defense can test you and you just, you just turn the ball because you, you're not able to catch the basketball. Evansville did a better job last time down the floor running their offense, doing what Coach Cruz has set up for them. They're taking their time again this time. Gravel outside by Sparks. Not unusual to see the big center outside as much as Evansville uses it. 14 turnovers, Jim Cruz. Shout some instruction out there. There's a little give and take to that. That uh, when you bring the center, as you look at the turnover, Evansville already turned it over 14 times, going on a, a 30 turnover pace for the game. But uh, when you bring your center out, you have to expect he's going to turn it over a couple times a game out there, rather than handle it down inside. Evans on the screen by Reed. Jumper is good and a foul on Evansville. Brian Evans with a big play. Brian Evans did a nice job. Indiana very patient. They did a nice job of screening. Evans able to come off the screen, get the ball. Makes a good one-on-one -on -one post move right there. I'm going to take a look at it. You can see, okay, Evans is down here in the, the sets of screen right here. Reed's going to give it up. You can see, we're going to get back to it here in just a second. Okay, here we take a look. Good, good job by Reed coming down. Evans, or Evans gathers himself, leans in, goes up for the shot. Good play by Indiana. Good offense, good screening by the Indiana guards. Evans leads with nine points. Got to have a switch. Good job by Robbie Eggers to come over there and help. That's not his man, but there's nobody else to pick him up right there. Good job by Eggers just off the bench to see what's going on and come in and make a big play in the game. Jackson just dribbled it out of bounds. We're under a minute 20 left, first half. Anderson between the legs to retain control. Hart floats to the baseline, wide open. He's off with it, Quinn rebounds. Elkins double team, and Loving is off, and Robbie Eggers with the board. It's a lockdown. De defense by Indiana has really sustained this lead. First half. Anderson wheels inside, 
And again draws the foul. So when Indiana is able to get inside, they've created some trouble for Evansville. Looks like that's that's uh, an opening on the floor where Indiana can kind of go at. Last time Evans was able to get in there. This time Henderson gets in there and makes the same type of play. Gathers himself, kind of a post move, spins to the basket, and uh, gets whacked pretty good by Jackson. Henderson in the line. Anderson got on the first. He's played the entire first half. 12 points now. Looks like Indiana's going to go into the locker room with a lead. It'll be interesting to see how this team can, can hold a lead. Last week at Notre Dame, uh, earlier in the week, they were not able to do a very good job of holding the lead. Right now, they're up by, up by 13. Jackson in there. Elkins runs into the pick. That was Neil Reed stepping out on a pick, and Elkins ran right into him in front of the Indiana bench. Evansville going to have to do a better job. They're a little frustrated right now. They're going to have to do a better job of coming down and running their offense. They've had a, they've had a couple of fouls that uh, just, just not very good fouls. I'm sure Coach Cruz is a little disappointed. Neil Reed goes the line. Another good half by Reed. Jackson comes back in for Quinn. I think, I think Evansville, it's, it feels like a couple calls have went against them and, and they've let that get them down. And I, I think that's a real key to a mature ball club. It's able to come in. You know you're going to get some good calls. You're going to get some bad ones. If you get a bad one, you, you just go on to the, the other end of the floor and you don't worry about it. So far, Evansville has, has let it, uh, it's, it's kind of let them get it down here. Let them let it get him down here in the first half, and because of it, uh, Indiana's moved out to a 15-point lead. Neil Reed hits two free throws, 12 points now for Reed. Indiana's biggest lead now is at 15. Pick and roll, but Hart there to help. 30 seconds as he gets around. Elkins goes all the way to hoop. Offensive foul. Reed Jackson was there in position, and Steve Hart draws a foul. You know what, I really think that's a pretty good play though. He, he used his athletic ability. Henderson is trying to uh, Henderson is trying to screen him off as best he can. The only negative about it is Indiana could have taken the last shot there. They could have pulled the ball out. They could have taken the last shot, possibly gone to the the locker room with a 17-point lead, 18-point lead, and at worst 15. And right now they're gonna give Evansville another chance to come down and score points. Now Evansville does get the last shot. The shot clock off. You see the game clock on the right. Great first half defensively by Indiana. To go along with some poor Evansville shooting. Jackson outside waits for the clock to get down to 10. Elkins oh, nearly he pulled that foot. Tough shot is off. Rebound is pulled down by Hart. Charlie Miller with a half court shot. It's off, and the buzzer sounds then the half, and these Indiana fans pretty pleased with the, sto the scoring here. 43 for Indiana, Evansville 28. Dan Dockage and Bob Knight leave a pretty good defensive effort by the Indiana Hoosiers. We'll be back with our halftime after these messages. Guards, second half, Hart and Reed. And I know you're tired of hearing it at home. They're going to say, here Kitzel comes again. He's going to talk, tell us about the first five minutes, how important they are in the second half. But I think we found out the other night how important they really are. And uh, we'll see tonight or this afternoon what happens to this Indiana team. I'm sure that it was mentioned to them at halftime about how they started the other evening. Now, mental approach is so important with this team. They've got good talent out there, good players. But it's the mental side of the game that cost them at Notre Dame by letting them get back into the game. This is exactly where they are now with Evansville. Outside shot is off. Brian Evans with the board. So a good first possession defensively for Indiana. Here's Henderson. Takes the first jumper and good from the outside. So Indiana's confidence very high here to start the second half. Good pass down. It's off as Layton had a good shot from the baseline. As Indiana a little slow getting back. Neil Reed did a good job the first time down. Finding Allen Henderson right away, getting the team off to a good start in the second half. Reed on the dribble. And a whistle inside. That's a hold. 
Layton gets called for the foul as Henderson again continues to fight for that inside position. He's trying to muscle him inside. Uh, I don't know why in that situation you don't let him go because he's trying to go away from the ball. If he's my man, I want to get him as far away from the ball as possible. Instead, he's just kind of holding him inside and it's right in front of the referee and you're just not going to get away with it. There's Jim uh, Cruz and Steve Bennett. Trying to figure out what Evansville can do to get back in this game. Continue to lay off. It's short. Steve Hart misses. Henderson tries to board, but he stepped on the out-of-bounds line as he came in to grab the ball. So out of bounds, gives it back to Evansville. You mentioned the mental approach, and it's so important to everything you do. I mean, I know that Steve Hart has, has stood up and been able to hit that shot. If you gave him 100, he probably would never shoot an air ball, and then he comes out and shoots an air ball. So it's just mentally, he, he just doesn't have the confidence to step up and hit that shot yet. Andy Elkins gets two here early in the second half. Good Neil shot. Reed on a floater, and he floated to the left instead of toward the basket. It's off. Elkins coming down. And as he's expected to do, he's leading this Evansville team. He got two straight baskets, Indiana by 13. Bad shot by Neil Reed. You just don't come down to a little one-on-one -on -one move. You got to get other people involved. You got to make them play defense. Evans feels the better. double team, gives it off to Reed, a three-pointer. You can see they make the, a couple extra passes, they get some people moving, they get the defense moving, and you see what happens. Brian Evans, a, an, an excellent passer. Now watch Evans. Last time down, Evans, we take this shot right here. Instead, he picks it up, Reed continues to move, does a nice job using his body, getting inside, has a chance at a three-point play. He's got good body control. We've seen several times he's floating around and still able to make some shots. And I guess to me it still looks like sometimes they're bad shots, but if we can sit, can he continue to see him do that, obviously we'll know he's been practicing those shot kind of shots and can hit him. He makes the three-point play and gets Indiana back up by 16. But once again, uh, even when Evans doesn't score points, he is so important to the offense because he gets the ball where it needs to be. Oh, Henderson in good defensive position gets called for the hole. Two fouls on Henderson. And Dockage, Bob Knight on the Indiana bench. They know how valuable Henderson is for Indiana to stay in the lineup. Those are the tough ones. 35 feet from the basket on a pass, drawn a foul. Elkins now, shot is off. Patterson goes up, and Layden is right there for the rebound. Jeff Layden gets two. Easy rebound basket. No way Allen's going to get, oh, great pass by Patterson inside. Good movement by the Indiana offense. Again, making the extra pass, and they get an easy layup out of it. 11 points now for Evans. He gets the easy feed. Drive to the hoop all the way by Jackson. And that foul goes on Evans. So when the one-on-one -on -one move is made, Ted, it's the other players, when a player's beaten, they've got to be there to help, and that's probably what they're talking about right now. Yeah, right here, he didn't get anybody to help, but not a very smart play by Evans. You can see good, good read of the defense right there. Patterson sees Evans going back door. Then he comes down to the other end. He gets beat, and the guy's going to have to make a left-handed shot off the glass. And uh, instead of going up and fouling him, I think Brian Evans, it's more important for him to be in the game. I mean, we can't, can't let him go out of the game with foul trouble. I think it's better just to keep your position, and if he makes the shot, you've got to pat him on the butt and say it was a great play. Reed Jackson, one of two. He got 15 in the first game, so he's well below his season's average now with three points. Henderson, quick off the dribble. Shot is off. Elkins has him. Indiana's back. Madison, leaner on the baseline is good, so Evansville, some good confidence now in their shooting. Five for Toby Madison. Lead is 13. Standing around right now by Indiana. Uh, it just really makes it tough to run anything when you got the one guy down there. There we go, Steve Hart able to step out. If he could just hit a couple of those in a row, then, then Evansville's gonna have to come out and guard him. I think it would really help his confidence. He's got four. Good trap. Jackson tried to get the pass inside, and Patterson reached over to knock it out of bounds. There's Jim Cruz. Had a chance to visit with he and his wife, Kim, his two children, Todd and Abby, came up on the trip. 
Madison misses from the outside. Good rebound by Evans. Nice block out by Indiana. Hart's looking for that shot now. That's a good sign. Out. Double team. He's got to come back. Back over to Reed. Now he's ready. Steve Hart, another jumper. He's got six points. Indiana did a nice job because he had that shot right away, but he, but he got he did a nice job of passing it around, getting into a rhythm, and then taking the shot. Well, Jackson really went down as Patterson tried to block that shot. The officials blow the whistle, and they want to check Jackson. He really slammed hard on that floor, and he's a little dazed right there. Evansville trainer and coach Jim Cruz come out. Timeout. We're going to go with a timeout. 15:41 left. Indiana leads at 54:37. We'll be back after these messages. Pushed off on Hart. He lost his balance. His feet came up from under him and slammed down on the floor. He looks all right though. The Evansville ball. Neil Reed, fake. shot fake, one dribble, and he cans another one. Neil Reed, very impressive in tonight's ball game, 17 points. And very important to the Indiana offense because he, we need somebody hitting the shot from outside, and he's really done the job. Madison off, Evans with the board, fast break by Indiana. Hart, he wants to take that shot. The defense has given it to him, but not with uh, no offensive pattern yet. They go to Evans instead, and Elkins rebound. A good play by Hart to pull it out. There's no need to take that quick a shot when you get a 19-point lead. Elkins tries to draw the foul and does again. Ted, second time now he's done that. Yeah, he. Uh, I really don't know if there's much contact. Neil Reed is trying to get by Elkins, and uh, Elkins really goes after the defender. I, I, I mean, he. he after he fakes, watch him, watch him go after. Reed's trying to fake him, avoid him, and he really goes after, which, which is a good, smart play to get you to the foul line. In the first half, he did it and got away with it. He, he tried to do it. Jackson's going to go back to the locker room right now. You see the Evansville trainer. I'll try to keep you updated on his condition. Indiana's really shut Jackson down today. Only three points and three rebounds. In the first half, he had six turnovers and only two points. Elkins is off on that second free throw. Reed brings it down. Indiana's had the ball in Reed's hand. Travel a bit. I tell you, Ted, you understand that travel call, because even before that official has it, I think you're seeing it, and you're right again. Bob Knight knows you're right. Well, the Indiana offense has opened up a lot more the last couple times down the floor, and that's all because Steve Hart hits two jump shots in a row. Now they've got to start guarding him, and uh, you're going to see a lot more people handling the basketball now on the Indiana offense. Layden and Eggers outside. Jackson Hart, good pick that time. They got Loving's easy layup as Evansville moves the ball inside. Great ball movement, good interior passing by Evansville. See, they're jamming it back in there again. Get a couple passes, and you'll get that shot, the, the same shot you've got right now. Get into the offense, get things moving. Reed, shot fake, baseline. And a foul on the push. That time it's Brian Jackson. Reed's a smart, heady player. He plays tough. He's got a good jump shot. Watch the defense now by Indiana here. Probably more importantly, the offense by Evansville. Good job here by Evansville. Nice screen. And then reading the, his, you see how Loving was, was moving out. And instead, all of a sudden, changed, went back to the basket, got an easy backdoor basket. Long shot by Reed. Three-pointer on the out-of-bounds play. Saved by Hart. Dribbles in the lane and a foul. And that's going to be a block. He's back in. That's Jackson. He's back in. I think that was. Uh, he is back in. Let's see. <laughs> We're gonna have to check. <laughs> he snuck back in here on us. I we, we thought that he went. We was going to the locker room instead. Uh, but said he felt all right. Tough kid coming up off the floor. His head hit the floor awfully hard. Hey, right Cruz now up at the scores table. His action is stopped. 
sure what this could be about. Tommy Rucker knows. Two. So we've got that cleared up. Indiana has possession again. Players trying to fight for position. Draws a whistle. Last person was on number 25, Reed Jackson, which is his second person. Reed Jackson picks up his second. We're ready to go. Eggers outside. Anderson comes off a pick, but Evans still has it. Bad shot. Eggers is off, and Jackson there for the board, but a travel as he moved his pivot foot before he got the ball down. Will Sell there with the call. And I don't say bad shot because it's not a shot that he can hit, but it's a shot that Indiana's not looking for because Robbie's a good shooter. He can hit that 15-footer, and I'm sure Coach Knight wants him to take it, but uh, he's going to have to get it coming off the screen in a little, little better position. Anderson goes as Elkins falls down and gets the jumper. Indiana slow getting on back on defense. Great play by Reed. Reed blocks the shot by Loving, and the crowd loves that. Neil Reed, his best game of the year right now for Indiana. Steve Hart doing a much better job right now of seeing what is going on. He's much more confident out there on the floor. He's making much better decisions. We're going to take a look at Neil Reed. She has no chance. Comes back, gets all ball right there. Great block by Neil Reed. They showed it here at the big screen replay as well. That's the warrior here from the crowd as Reed slapped it away. Anderson still fights for that position inside. Now he's outside. Good, good, good offense by Indiana. It's off. Anderson goes down, no foul. And a whistle inside as Evans fights for the rebound. So what looked like a good shot for Indiana ends up in the foul. Well, it was a good shot. He didn't shoot it very good. I mean, he, he came up with uh, nothing but air on that one. But uh, Evans has got, I think that's his third foul. He picks up his fourth foul, he picks up. We're going to take a look at it. You can see. So it was a good shot, but he uh, didn't come up with it. Evans, nobody's got the ball, but Evans, they felt like, took advantage and uh, knocked the Evansville player down, and he gets his fourth foul. And it was Jackson again, so he, that gutty type of player we talked about. Madison, jumper is good, so Evans has to be careful. Now Patterson will check in for him when he can. Steal on the inbounds play, that's Jackson. One on three, he misses it, Evans pulls it away. Bad play by Hart and Reed. They've got to make the inbounds play. There'll be a number of times this year in the Big Ten where you're going to have to make that play. You make that kind of play, and they're going to score on you. Anderson cutting Reed down the middle. Gets knocked down. No foul. Now Henderson goes on Elkins. Shot is good and a foul. Allen Henderson. Henderson really doing a nice job. Everybody watching Neil Reed as he goes down through the lane. He got knocked down twice. Neil Reed, you're going to have to get used to that. When you start scoring uh, 15, 16, 18 points a game, people are going to start banging on you and not letting you get the ball. And uh, we're going to take a look at it. You can see him. He comes off here. He's kind of crying, trying to get a foul right there. But uh, then he kind of gets bumped. But uh, hey, you're just going to have to get used to it. That's, uh, that's part of playing in college. And uh, in the Big Ten, you're going to get it all the time. 19 points for Henderson. There's Neil Reed. And if the opposing player knows that it bothers you, he's going to do it all that much more. Henderson short there. Easy rebound for Evansville. Indiana leads it by 18. Just under 12 minutes left in the game. And Elkins. He puts that back foot there as he receives the pass. And almost did it the first time. Stepped out of bounds. We've got a timeout. 
We'll be back after these messages from your local stations. This is the Raycom Network. Three fouls each, but Indiana has the only player with four, and that's Evans. And Evans is out of the game right now. Indiana goes with Eggers, Allen Henderson, Andre Patterson. There's Brian Evans. The guard, Steve Hart, and Neil Reed. Robbie Eggers doing a good job understanding what his role is. He's in there screening. He's a release man whenever the ball gets in trouble, and that's the type of things that uh, this offense needs him to do. Big play by Jackson. Steps right in front of Patterson and takes it all the way. He slipped right there. I think he was going to do a reverse dunk, but uh, as I've mentioned many times before, the, the layup will count just as much as the dunk. Five points now for Jackson. Anderson really fighting for that position inside. Good patience this time by Indiana. Anderson. Plenty of time, plenty of time. Ten seconds left, and they throw it away. Hart tried to go high with Henderson. And that pass not able to be caught. Players exchange comments down the floor. That's the timing thing. These kids have to get used to playing together to make those kind of plays. That could have been a basket. Shot off. Evansville comes away with it. But now Steve Hart on the steal. And the Evansville crowd not happy with a no call there as they felt they got roughed quick up shot. by Indiana. Eggers with a quick shot, but it goes in from the baseline. Eggers, as Ted mentioned, a good shooter. Nails that one. Didn't, oh. have, didn't have near as much pressure on him that time, able to hit it, and Elkins comes back down and uh, does a nice job taking it right in there, scoring two points for Evansville. Evansville not backing off Hart quite as much as they were earlier. Not as easy for Hart to get the to get the shot. They finally called Loving on a foul. He's been very aggressive, as we, we saw a little bit ago on the replay when he was guarding Neil Reed. Sam Licklider calls him for holding. For Indiana, Lindemann and Pat Knight check in. Evansville over the limit, so Reed will be at the line now, one and one. Andre Patterson's really struggled for Indiana the last two games today. Each time he gets in there, uh, things went so smooth for him in Maui. Averaged 15 points a game. And uh, he's really had some problems the last two, two games trying to get on track. He'll reach short on that free throw. on the drive, bank shot this time. He's really a pretty good player, Ted. I like the way the kid plays. He plays hard. He can beat you so many different ways as, he, as he's shown in the end of the day. 22 points for Elkins. He's a very good player and a very heady player. He knows what he can do, what things are available to him in the offense. They really try to bottle up Henderson inside, so Indiana looking for other scores. Reed is just off, action under the basket. And Jackson's going to get that one as he put Robbie Eggers right into the standard, which holds the basket up. There's Jackson. That's just the way he plays, his third foul. So Robbie Eggers at the line. He's a tough player. He's a hard-nosed player. But when you when you just take somebody out and just knock them into the into the standard, I mean, you're going to get a foul. So uh, there's re really no need to just uh, absolutely take the guy out. Eggers is short now, 0 for 3 this year on his free throws. That ball tipped, and I'm going to say Evansville touched it. Burl Sell is going to make the change. A little correctable error, and they give the ball to Evansville, which is what the crowd thought it should have should have been uh, should have gone to Evansville. Play a little sloppy right now. Elkins air ball, but it goes right into Loving, who gets a quick rebound and puts it right back in. The lead is now 12. Evansville making a run. Indiana had it all the way up to 18, 20 points. Indiana needs to take its time and get a good shot down inside. Need to get Henderson the ball down inside. 
Indiana did a nice job early in the second half to hold the lead, actually to extend it. And now Evansville trying to come back. Henderson. Good shot. Leaning inside, he knows he might draw a foul, but if not, get a good shot and he gets the basket. 21 points, Allen Henderson. Good play by Henderson. Double team, ball tapped away. Layton still able to pick it up. Madison on a floater. It's off, Jackson misses the tip. And Henderson pulls it down. Indiana really not in a position to run right now. Henderson still has it out front. Indiana wants to, to take as much time as possible off the clock. Oh! oh. Reed was going to take it, and then he waited. That's one pass on a three-pointer. That's confidence right there yeah, as he hits it. That's confidence, all right. I'm, I'm glad it went in. I don't know about you. It could have been a substitution there. Yeah, I, Coach Knight started to stand up and he just kind of sat down once it went in. Elkins, he's got a three. I tell you, the three-point shot adds a new dimension to this college game. It never puts anybody out. 25 points now for Elkins. He and Henderson in a real scoring battle today. And as expected, they lead their teams respectively. Drop off of Eggers as soon as he picks the ball up. Reed again for three, it's off. Pushed this time by Layton as Lindemann had good inside position. Coach Knight a little upset. Allen Henderson not working hard enough to get open. He wants him to uh, do a better job of getting open and getting the ball in his hands. And I think probably most importantly, he's a little upset that, that Elkins has been able to score so easily on the other end. Evansville continues to look for Elkins down here on, on their offensive end, and, and uh, Allen Henderson is who is guarding him, and uh, right now Elkins is continuing to score. Lindemann at the line, short again. Indiana still struggles from that free throw line. Easy rebound for Evansville. It just doesn't seem like they're out of the game. It's a 14-point lead. 7-17 left. See if Allen Henderson doesn't do a little better job on Elkins this time. Probably Andrews Andrews. outside is going to draw the foul as Jackson tries to go around him. I know. 7-11 left. Indiana leads it 67-53. We'll be back after these messages. It's both Evansville and Indiana. Here's a look at Neil Reed. You can see it's off one pass. Shot fake. Yeah, when in doubt, let it go. <laughs> that was always what I your said. Motto? That's okay, what I was going to say. The Kitchell motto it looks like <laughs> Neil Reed, a player who lives by that. 20 points for Reed, his career high, tops his 18 he had at Notre Dame. Here's the shooting. Indiana shooting very well for them in the second half, 11 of 20. Madison and Reed blocked by Henderson. Reed forced Madison to go to the left hand with that shot. Henderson able to knock it away. But a nice job by Reed here in not fouling. Watch how he, good job by Madison leaning into him, but a good play all around right there, Neil Reed. Didn't go up with his hands. If he goes up with his hands, he's going to get called for a foul. Shot clock's going to be reset. It's at, hold on, it was at 15. It's been moved back up to 35. That shot did not hit the rim, so it's kind of a back down to where it was when the shot was taken. And they're changing it right now. 19 seconds, and it's not, re, it's not clicking in at 19. They're getting it to 19, but it's not staying there. Jim Cruz really likes the Evansville area. Had a nice talk with him last night at the hotel. It's a good place to raise his family. Well, they love him down there. He's done a great job with this Evansville program. Looking forward to moving into the Missouri Valley Conference this year. Play their first game against Illinois State coming up next week as Reed Jackson hits a jumper. It's the first time Jackson's really come off the screen today looking to shoot rather than, than looking to take the ball inside. And because of it, he got a wide open shot. And, uh, you know, I'm sure that's what Coach Cruz is really looking for him to do. Steve Hart's got a jumper on the baseline, and it goes. It nearly came out, but Hart with a nice jumper baseline. That's three in a row. You can, you, you know, he started the half off with an air ball. Coach Knight trying to gain some confidence. He left him in there as Allen Henderson flies by, doesn't block out. And Elkins continues to fight. Great job by Elkins inside. Got a couple shots, continue to fight. There's no give up in Elkins. 
Couldn't get it to go. There you see the Indiana players help such a big part of Indiana defense. And you need help on a guy like Elkins. It's hard to stop one on one. Well, Henderson's getting screened, and then he's having to fly out. Elkins shot fakes him. He goes by. And then it, Henderson did a poor job of getting back. He goes up strong this time. Count the basket, a chance for three, and a foul on Henderson. Yeah, this Evansville team's an emotional team. This is obviously a very, very big game for him. You can see, he gets the ball outside. Henderson going to have to do a better job of getting his body in position. You can see Neil Reed's inside trying to help out. But at that point in time, Elkins already goes up. And you can see uh, they are playing with a lot of emotion. This is an awfully big game for the Evansville team. 27 points, 10 rebounds. Elkins has shown us the leadership that he's well known for in this Evansville team. The 28 of the 58 points. 11-point lead. 6-10 left, so plenty of time, and this Evansville crowd is not giving up. Henderson, hearts open. Rebound to Madison. Quickly up to Jackson. They look for Elkins almost every time down the floor. Jackson goes in, and a whistle. And a foul as Jackson got in for the layup. Evansville doing a good job of not just coming down and looking for the three-pointer. They're getting the ball to Elkins. When Indiana looks to him, they got a lot of people cutting to the basket. This time Elkins gets the ball out top. And watch, here's a screen by Jackson, and then he rolls to the basket. Just an easy screen and roll play. Elkins does a nice job getting the ball to Jackson. He'll get a chance to shoot two free throws. Three now on Hart. And this would cut the lead down to single digits. Indiana, we mentioned in the, in the open, they're a, they're a young team that's trying to learn how to win basketball games. And uh, these are the types of things that are going to happen to a young team. And until they, they learn how to st sustain a lead and to win basketball games, uh, there's going to be some tough times. Brian Evans checks back in, four fouls. So he comes back in at the 544 mark. Jackson off, Evans, easy rebound. Spread offense by Indiana. Big front line by the Hoosiers. No need to panic, there's nobody on. They're gonna call holding on Madison as he's trying to defend Brian Evans. That was a switch, so Madison was outsized that time. Tried to use some quickness, but it's called. Personal foul, Evansville, number three. Four now on Madison. He's the first Evansville player to get the four. Tenth team foul. So Indiana gets two shots the rest of the way in. I see, I feel a better sense of hustle and, and mentally ready to play by the Hoosiers tonight. There's another $25 to the Gleaners Food Bank for Noble Romans Pizza with this reminder. Noble Romans gift certificates are a great holiday gift idea. Stop by today to see how you can get a $5 gift certificate free at Noble Roman. Evans hits two. No Evansville spreads their offense. So back picks high outside here, trying to get some of the action going toward the basket. Elkins does. Pass deflected by Evans as Madison was open for a jumper. Evans really helps make things go on both ends of the floor. You can see right here, he really helps out defensively. He's got long arms, makes it tough for the defensive or the offensive team to pass the ball. And he passes so well on the offensive team, I think he's a real key when Indiana's playing. Oh, as he steps in. Oh, you make me look so good. Uh, he oh. does all the way oh. down, but then loses the dribble. Goes out of bounds. That was the left hand. That was his good side. Well, the... Not to make any excuses, but sometimes on some of these floors there are some dead spots and uh, he might have hit one, but anyway, he dribbled it a little too high and right into the first row. You know, another thing you do is you try to anticipate the move you're going to make and you exactly. concentrate so much on that that you lose control of the ball. Turnover by Indiana. It does not take away from the good defensive play Evans made to steal the ball. Madison short on that shot. Since Evans has come back in the game, Indiana's defense is much more in sync. Their, their communication's much better because of it. Evansville having a much tougher time of trying to score. 
Anderson faked a lob pass that time. Reed goes high to get it. the 10 on the Switch shot clock. now. Madison's guarding Evans inside. That's a match that Evans likes. And here it is. We've got to take him to the hoop. Shot fake and just off. Lindemann with the board. And the rebound basket. Todd Lindemann. Big play. Good healthy play. Needs to find Elkins here. Evans picks him up. Elkins gets pushed away, loving again. He's very quick inside. And there's a loose ball situation. He uses that quickness to get it this time. Gets him a basket. He, I think he's a kid that's going to see a lot of times for Evansville. He's quick, he's strong, he's got, uh, he has got jumps very well inside. As they continue to play this year, I think you'll see Loving see, getting a lot of time. Again, Jackson backs off on Hart. Henderson tries to post. Now Hart will take the jumper. And good that time. When he gets those legs underneath him, gets that extension, he's got a nice touch on that ball. And that has really been the difference here in the, in the game and Steve Hart being able to step up and being able, to hit, being able to hit that shot. That's 10 for Hart. Elkins draws the foul inside, although the shot falls off. You see the two, uh, two of the older guys, Evans and Henderson, really discussing the switch right here. I, don't, I, I didn't get a chance to see exactly what happened. Now Coach Knight discussing it with Todd Lindemann. They're going to have to do a better job of communicating. I'm sure the three of them are able to switch Elkins, although they, they would probably rather have Evans or Henderson on him most of the time. Right now, they're just not doing a very good job because of it. Elkins continues to move. Uh, it reminds me of Alfred a little bit, the way Alfred just continued to run off screens and run and run and run until he was able to get the ball in, uh, in a position where he could score and get to the free throw line. Andre Patterson will check in for Indiana. Substitution. I think Coach Knight trying to get Patterson some... Uh, now with this lineup, you'll see all three of these guys switching Elkins the next time down the floor. But also, I think more than anything, he's trying to get Patterson a, a little confidence. Uh, his confidence has went downhill a little bit in the last few games, trying to get him in there. He knows he's going to be a real important part to this team as the year goes on. We've got timeout. We'll be back after these messages from your local stations. This is the Raycom Network. We'll look at the foul trouble first. OK. All right. Indiana by 12, and defense such a big part of the game. Let's watch that last sequence, and here's what happened. Now watch Henderson right here at the top of your screen. Evans does not call out the screen, and then he doesn't help out. His man screens, he doesn't help out. And then Lindemann, who should be in the middle of the lane, the things Coach Knight has talked about in his chalk talk about being over away from the ball. So we got, we got two guys really out of place, and because of it, Evansville goes to the free throw line. Good execution by Evansville, but very poor defense by Indiana. Good camera work there, as you can see. A breakdown in Indiana's defense. This is Reed. Drives to the hoop. Draws the foul. Not much happening here on the Indiana offense, but uh, Neil Reed does a nice job of getting inside, using his body, kind of leaning into the defense. As we've watched Elkins do so much today, does a nice job of getting into the defense, getting to the free throw line. Reed, his best game as a Hoosier. You're going to see a lot of this guy before his career is up. Indiana always looks for that point guard who can control things, and especially with that good shot, be a zone buster. This is on that free throw. Three is six today, so the only part of his game that's suffered. It's a little strange, a guy that shoots the ball from outside as well as he does that, uh, I don't know if he's not, not got the confidence or if he's just not a very good free throw shooter. This is Loving, dishes off to Jackson, the three second lane, no call. That shot blocked by Henderson. So good defense there on Elkins. Much better that time by Indiana. Henderson keeping his feet, did a nice job getting a hand up, even got a hand on the ball that time. Whistle inside, a hold by Jackson. So Henderson and Evans really trying to work inside now, a two-man game. 
I think they're going to get it on Madison. It's really a tough matchup for Evansville. They've got Madison on Evans. I don't know if he got switched off on him or what, but that's the second time we've seen it. And in both both instances, he's uh, he's fouled Evans. So uh, in Indiana really trying to take advantage of it. Free throw is a big part of Indiana's offense. Let's see how they've done. This is last year. In the first four games, Indiana took 145. This year, only 105, 40 different. And look at the opponents. Opponents have made three more free throws this year than Indiana. And that's why Indiana's getting beat. Well, if we keep that up there for a second, you can see we not only are shooting so many less, we're 40 down, but we're also shooting almost 10 percentage points down from last year. So uh, really a bad combination for Indiana. And usually Indiana will shoot more. Or, or, I mean, they will make more free throws than their opponents even attempt. And, th and this year, uh, so far, the opponents are making more than, uh, than we are. Madison fouls out his fifth. Evans misses on the free throw. Good on the second. So it's Indiana now back up by 14. 225 left. Hands by Steve Hart. Knocks it away. Hart's played a pretty good game uh, offensively. He's done the job when he's got the open shot. And we've known him as a defensive player. That time Jackson goes up and gets an easy rebound. Good Brian hands there for the board. Very good hands by Brian Evans. He gets his hands on it. He usually comes down with it. Good block there as Evans held his ground on the pit. So Indiana now starts to run the clock. For two minutes now. They don't have to force a quick shot. They have to run that 35 second clock down. Now a whistle and a foul. And this is the pattern we're going to see in games, Ted. If Indiana's got a lead going in late, the other team's going to have to foul. So Indiana's going to go back to the line. And that's where the free throws can kill you. If you're only going to make one or two or not make either one, now the other team has been a good play. The other team comes right down. Chance to get back in the yeah. game. If you continue to shoot poorly from the free throw line, you won't get a chance to run the offense if you're ahead by this much. I'm sure they'll foul you before you, you're able to take uh, any time off the clock. If you're a poor shooting uh, foul club shooting team, uh, you know, teams are going to foul you, and they're going to make you go up there and make shots. Evans is long on that one. It's a matter of concentration. Right now, this, this team just not, when, when they get to the free throw line, they're just not doing a very good job of concentrating and making the shots. Because Brian Evans is a very good free throw shooter. Just not getting it done right now the free throw line. As you take a look at the free throw shooting, you see Indiana's got there 31 times, 10 more times than Evansville, yet they've only made three more. 90% compared to 67%. And that's four percentage points higher than we're shooting on the year. He's good on the second. I think being in, in uh, Bloomington, the Assembly Hall will help the free throw shooting as well. The team's played a lot of road games here early. Very unusual for this type of schedule not to be at home more than they have, this being the fifth game already. Three in Hawaii, one at Notre Dame. And now one again away from home at the Dome. I think it'll make them a lot tougher. Although they've uh, they've got off to a tough start here, only one and three, and it looks like they're going to have a chance here to go two and three. But uh, I think when they get back home and they get into the Big Ten schedule, they'll look back at this experience and uh, they'll look at it as, as a very positive experience. Coach Cruz is going to call a timeout. He's going to get timeout. 137 left. Indiana leads at 78-63. We'll be back after these messages. Fifty-six from Israel. Here's Neil Reed. Finally, finally, I, I, I get it. Do finally, there's another twenty-five dollars into the Gleaners Food Bank from Noble Romans Pizza. With this reminder, bring a can of food for Gleaners to a Noble Romans Pizza anytime tomorrow. You get a large hand-tossed pizza with one topping for just five dollars tomorrow at Noble Romans. And he made both. So Indiana's got their lead back up. Elkins is on the ground. He and Miller are mixing it up right in front of Burl Sell. Let's see. I think the call was away from the action. Quite a scuttle there. Powell goes on 22. That's loving. Robbie Eggers will check back in. There's Charlie Miller. 
Charlie Miller and Elkins really got mixed up. They got, kind of got their feet mixed up, and they were all tangled up, and they ended up both falling to the floor. I, I think that, that's good. That's what Charlie Miller needs. He needs to get down on the floor, get into it a little bit. He'll take that edge off, and uh, because Charlie Miller is really a great athlete. You can see here, they got two guys screening. He does a nice job getting up over the top. Then Elkins falls down. Probably a foul on Charlie Miller. If you're down there at Evans, I'm sure uh, you're feeling like it's a foul, and it probably was a foul. No, they didn't. They decided not to call it, and uh, Elkins leaves the game with a big game: 30 points, 10 rebounds, and uh, he's, he's just a great competitor. Evans hits the second, and Robbie Eggers comes in for him. So Brian Evans, a pretty good show here this afternoon. And Indiana has stretched that lead now to 19. So they got the lead second half. They were able to hold it. The learning process is getting that lead, learning how to hold it. They've done it here against Evansville. It's a good Evansville team. The, uh, the one kid is, is not even dressed. He's got a, had a back problem. He led the country in three-point shooting last year. So that's a the guy they get back in there. Uh, I think he's going to miss the entire season this year. But uh, I think you'll hear some things from this Evansville team. And uh, I think it's been a very, very good experience coming up to the Hoosier Dome playing the Hoosiers. Matt Hobson, 14 in the lineup for Evansville. Chris Quinn back in. Or, or the RCA Dome, excuse me. I, I, I knew we'd make that mistake sometime today. And, uh, and you didn't make it, I did. That was less than a minute to go. That's darn good. Charlie <laughs> Miller inside is fouled. I think Charlie Miller could be a key to this team, Ted. He, he got the start today, but didn't come through the way coach wanted him to. He's got a good shot. He's got good athletic ability. Steve Hart comes out. Here goes Neil Reed. Hart comes in. Good Neil nice Reed has 23 points. Good hand as, you know, very well deserved. That's two good games. And uh, really big, big games. Hit a lot of big shots for Indiana. But Charlie Miller, back to that point, I, I, I feel the same way. I think he's a wonderful athlete. Right now he's just a little tense, a little nervous when he's out there trying to make the plays, and he doesn't have the confidence. I think all, all he needs is, is one or two good games under his belt, and you, you'll see a much different player out there offensively and defensively. Saw Sharon Wilkerson on the bench, Coach Knight over. Made a comment, brought a big smile to Sharon's face. Probably how pleased he was with what Neil Reed did. Well, I th think the, in the entire squad, uh, coaches, players, uh, everybody was in dire need as you're going to get a travel. It was a dire need of a win, and uh, looks like with 25 seconds to go here, Indiana's going to get him one here today. Indiana's going to move to two and four. Big game with Kentucky next Wednesday. Which will be down at Freedom Hall. Hobson outside. We're down to the final 15 seconds. Loving good drive, good quickness there. The Patterson. Ball. That was Patterson inside. He's not that tall, but boy, he can really get up. He's got long arms. Three seconds. Three, I don't think Kevin's going to Loving is aware of it. Final shot, the buzzer is off. And Indiana playing hard. The entire ball game pulls uh, the victory, 84-63. Jim Cruz, Coach Norm Ellenberger, and there's Bob Knight as they congratulate each other. This is a three-year series. The game next year will be at Evansville. Indiana travels. And then back. Hi again, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale. You remember this one a year ago.